Man, I'm not joking, you know, the heat is crazy. I had to take off my shirt though. Ah, now I feel better now. It's my car, I'm not in a public transport. Oba, I see you. Lucky Admiralty, going all nine shaped. Sleeping on the traffic light. Nobody really see your pain. Alright. Here we go. Again, I'm in that trip long trip. Oh, what's up, YouTube? Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, all the wonderful drivers, all the wonderful passengers. Yeah, so yesterday, I hit, I hit the road hard. Like I did, that was on a Sunday. And today is Monday. You know, yesterday I eventually ended up, you know, still hustling at night because I needed money. My AC is not functioning. My AC is not working. It's not cooling. And I'm suspecting it's the compressor that is the problem. Because I recently changed the discharge hose because it had oil on it. And I feel in gas. It's been cooled for some time. And all of a sudden it just stopped cooling. So I don't even know if there's gas still in the system or maybe the compressor itself is leaking out um, oil and gas. So I'm not totally sure. So I have it, I need to get it fixed. Because yesterday the AC gave me a lot of issue. Like some riders had to come down, you know, cancel on the trip, end the trip early. I had like, you know, some riders almost got very aggressive. Like, why, 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 why? So today I need to fix that AC because today, this is December, this, there's December rush. I, I'm out currently, I'm in um, Kosofe, my 12th. And you can see the traffic start already piling up, you know, on the Korudu Road. So, Right now, I can't afford to just drive on the traffic without carrying a passenger. So I had to go online, you know. So somebody requested me going to VI. I will just have to walk like this, maybe to the middle of today. When a trip takes me to where, around where I'll get the AC fixed, I'll just enter the market and fix it. Because before now, even Bolt sent a message, you know, Bolt and Uber that um, windows should be down, you know, like a COVID-19 adherence, like a COVID-19 precautionary measure. But it, it baffles me the way riders just keep asking for AC, asking for AC. And some of the time when you see these people, it's people that don't even have AC in their house. So, so but even me personally, for myself, not just about my riders, for myself, I need AC. Because the sun these days, the sun lately is something else. Like, it can fry your brain. Let, let me so see let if I can see. do some couple of trips, you know, raise enough money and fix the AC. Because this is December rush. Oh. Nobody wants to stay home December, January. It's not like I'm prophesying. It's just something that happens. January, February, it's usually it's the request can be very slow to come in. Man, the heat is, is massive. You know, yesterday I went to um, try to get the AC fixed. Um, so they tried a couple of, they brought um, a compressor, it didn't fit in, like it wasn't the same type. They had to go back to the market. They eventually got a very clean foreign use compressor, you know, for the vehicle. Um, the compressor was a BMW compressor, but um, as um, chance we have it, so they, they complement each other since both of them are German cars. Mm -hmm. But the unfortunate thing is that was that the where the where the discharge hose sits is a part of the engine block is on it, so it cannot work. Ah, it was very painful because that compressor was the neatest soaring compressor I've ever seen. I'm talking of a compressor I'll use for like for like two years, three years. I won't talk about AC anymore. So unfortunately, it didn't fit in. I went home. I really, I really had a very, you know, hard time yesterday. It was raining, you know, like my windscreen kept getting uh, more, uh, misty. I kept cleaning it. You know, when AC doesn't work, that happens. But today, I must get this AC fixed. I did yesterday. It's rain. I thought today was going to be a very cool, cool morning. But man, the sun is crazy, hot. If you continue to drive without AC like this, uh, man, your brain can eventually get fried, though. So what's up, guys? Is your AC still working? Let's know in the comment section. Is your AC still working? Be very honest, though. You know, for you to have kept the car running all these years, like one year, two years, and your AC is still running, man. Let's know your car that you use below. How often do you drive? And is your AC is still chilling? Comments below.
I really cannot explain the heat. It's so, it's so much. So I'm battling with two things right now. My AC is not working and I'm using the wrong car to drive. The car that is not registered to drive. And some riders would query about the first and leave the second. Some riders would query. Some riders will query about the former and leave the later. Why some will query about the later and leave the former, you know? Just interchange themselves like that. But I can't sit at home and the car is not moving and I expect to be raising money to fix it now. No, the car needs to. The car needs to go on the road. Do what you can do. When I was at the AC's uh, shop, yes, AC technician guy's shop yesterday, I saw a lot of vehicles coming in for the same problem, AC problem. You know, and there's no money out there to even fix cars. Some people come, then they give them bill. They try to ask the technician guy to manage. But he kept telling them the truth that he can't manage. If you manage some certain things in your AC, you end up spending two times of the money, like three times of the money, four times of the money. So, in the course of this, my repair of the AC, I've, I've been able to understand some things about air conditioning, which is man. You know, and when you drive without AC, it just increases the stress of driving. Like, that's when you start seeing the driving telling on your face. Because AC is very, very, very important. I can't deal, man. I can't deal with this. Driving without AC in Lagos traffic with this heat. You see, because of this traffic that made me went to Ladikpo the other day to change the discharge hose. You know, if it was, it was, it was, it was for this guy now, okay, as I change the discharge hose now and then the compressor is not good, now that gas that I feel, with the money, the, mo the money for the gas has gone. The money for oil I bought has gone, you know. So like, I'm spending two times of the money. So that's the problem with some of these technicians. They don't want to tell you the truth. They just want you to keep coming back and coming back, but they don't know that's not the way for business. My God, man, this is fire! Jeez, man, my vehicle feels like it's 15 hour bike away from hellfire. So hot? Man, I'm not joking, you know, the heat is crazy. I had to take off my shirt too. Ah, now I feel better now. It's my car, I'm not in a public transport. If you're not okay with me taking off my shirt in my car, look away, it's my car. Oh man. I can't do this inside down for now. <laughs> Why Africa got to be so hot? It's so hot, man. Like. Ah, man, I, I don't. The exact type. Ah, have a look at you. Do well, you mean? Don't touch this paper. Oh, yeah, so I finally fixed the AC. I changed the compressor, you know. And it's cooling. It's cooling very perfectly well. The environment is cool. I have my glass wind up. Which is the, the most beautiful thing of driving is when your AC works. That's when you enjoy driving. But there's a problem. There's a problem. The fan, the radiator fan that's supposed to blow at a very high speed when the AC is working. So the AC has to like cool down like the whole condenser system. It's not picking up at that high speed. So I'm very close to Clegg in Ojo Elegba, so I'll just, I just called somebody now. I just called somebody to have me have a wire on standby so it can help me check what the problem is. I guess there's no proper communication between the thermostat and the compressor. You know, like it's just really stressful. I, I hope somebody is able to fix it. 